Mama's Honeycomb Preserves? Everybody likes Mama's Honeycomb Preserves. But then, actual factual is so wrapped up in his scientific research that he doesn't always know what he's eating. Hi, Professor. We brought you a present. Oh, my good friend's brother and sister bear. A present? How propitious. Propitious? Just a fancy word meaning opportune, well-timed. Ah, how lovely. Some of your mama's honeycomb preserves. Uh, deepest thanks. What do you mean, well-timed, Professor? Well-timed for what? Well-timed for a very important visitor. You mean that guy you were dusting on the wall? <laughs> Galileo Grizzly? Oh, dear me, no. He lived over a hundred years ago. But he discovered a named Great Grizzly Comet. And it's his glorious comet that's going to pay us a visit and spectacularly light up our night sky. Gee, I guess that's pretty exciting, huh, Professor? Indeed, it's the astronomical event of the century. Oh, this pickled salmon is delightful. It's honeycomb preserves, Professor. Oh, yes, uh, absolutely delicious. Now, let me see. I've notified the newspapers. Well, we'll see you, Professor. I'll need your help. And, oh, yes, thank your mama for these lovely kumquats. Huh? A visit from Grizzly's Comet? How about that? Comet to come close for first time in 100 years. Yeah, we were at the Bersonian today and Actual Factual told us all about it. And did he tell you that if this comet comes just that much too close, it could mean a disaster of cosmic proportions? Mountains could tumble? Bear Town would crumble? Really, Papa? Here, let me see that paper. Shame on you, Papa, frightening the cubs. It says right here that Actual Factual states that there is absolutely no danger from Grizzly's Comet. Well, I didn't say there would be a disaster. All I said was... It will pass no closer than thousands of miles from Earth. Mountains will tumble indeed. Oh, this is interesting. Mayor Honeypot has declared a holiday to celebrate the visit of Grizzly's Comet. Then it's okay if we help Actual Factual with preparations? Absolutely. Grizzly's Comet is something we'll all remember for the rest of our lives. Especially if it comes that much too close. Papa Q Bear, that'll be quite enough of that disaster talk. Looks like they're going all out for Grizzly's Comet. Looks like. Get your Grizzly's Comet t-shirts. Hey, this comet thing is really getting rolling. Three degrees left, a four degrees vertical. Right, Professor. That's perfect. How many stars are out there, Professor? Oh, zillions, my dear. Wow! And just think, each of those stars is a sun, perhaps with its own planets. Do you think there's life on some of them? Well, that's highly speculative, but it's entirely possible. Gee. Ta-ta, and thanks for your help. Get your Comet Balloons! Comet Telescopes here, Comet Telescopes! Boy, everybody's going Comet crazy! Yeah, but you know what's missing from all this Comet craziness? What? Raffish Ralph. What do you mean? Well, Ralph's always the first one to figure out a way to make money out of whatever's happening. And what's happening is Grizzly's Comet. Ralph's not missing, sis. He's right over there feeding the pigeons. Feeding the pigeons? Not that it's any of your business, Miss Budinsky, but the fact is I couldn't come up with any comet scheme that, uh, you know, turned me on. So if you'll excuse me, I've got pigeons to feed. What do you think? I mean, about Ralph not getting in on the comet action. Frankly, I don't know what to think. Oh, I wouldn't worry about Raffish Ralph, but I would worry about that weird sound. Holy Jehoshaphat, it, it's some kind of a flying saucer. There quickly comes behind these bushes. It's little green bears. Oh, little green bears from outer space? Greetings, Earthling. Take us to your leader. Hey, hi, fellas. Uh, you might say I'm a leading citizen. We have come from outer space. Outer space? Actual Factual says it's entirely possible. No interruptions. To warn you of danger, the Great Comet is on a direct collision course with 
what is this place? Their country, Your Honor. Direct collision course with their country. End of warning. Did you hear that? Collision course? Just as I feared, Grizzly's Comet is going to make a direct hit on their country. What are we going to do, Papa? A disaster of cosmic proportions, Bear Town will crumble. Well, I think the first thing we should do is tell Mama. Good thinking. Hey, look out, Corn, because here I come. But wait, here comes Papa Q Bear, running lickety split. What's happening, Papa Q? Grizzly's Comet! It's gonna hit Bear Country. Little green bears landed in saucer. Spread the alarm! Holy cow! Gotta spread the alarm. <laughs> Little green bears flying saucer. Who saw them, Farmer Ben? Little Papa Q Bear and the cubs. Hmm. The cubs are quite reliable. <laughs> Calm yourselves, friends. I'll recheck my calculations. <laughs> what fools these morons be! Ah, my good friend, Papa Q Bear. Uh, what's all the excitement? Haven't you heard? The comet's gonna hit bear country. We've been warned by the little green bears from outer space. <laughs> little green bears, you don't say. I do say. Let's get out while the getting's good. Ben's right. Why, when that comet hits... Oh, nonsense. I've checked my crystal ball, and there's no disaster coming, cosmic or otherwise. Well, we can't just pack up and leave our homes. Mama's right. But here's a little swindle, a uh, uh, suggestion. Instead of just packing up and leaving, uh, why don't you sell your properties and then leave? Well, who'd be dumb enough to buy them with that comet on the way? Yeah, yeah, who would want to buy them? Uh, the weasels might. The, the weasels? weasels? But Ralph is always in cahoots with the weasels. Yeah, but you know Ralph. He double crosses his own mother. Those underground creeps don't know anything about comets or little green bears. So if you uh, good folks just hurry home and get your property deeds. Sounds like a pretty good swindle, a, a suggestion to me. We'll sell them bear country, then head for the hills. Well, it doesn't sound quite honest to me. And besides... Uh, friends, friends, I've double-checked my figures, and there's absolutely no danger from Grizzly's Comet. Uh, Told you so! My crystal ball don't lie! That Ralph's up to something. He looks mighty suspicious. Let's follow him. Ralph here, Chief. Those silly bears are gonna need a little more convincing. That's right, another visit from the little green bears. <laughs> That's a weasel communication street. Talk about suspicious. Look, the saucer. There's a bear country. The comet will hit tonight. This is your last warning. What are we waiting for? It's the weasels! And all that stuff about the comet smashing us was a part of a rotten weasel scheme to take over bear country! Hi, Cubs. Why are you hiding? Huh? Big Paw, what are you doing here? Big Paw come to see Comet. Comet going to be pretty. That's not till tonight, Big Paw. Meanwhile, we need you to do a little job. You hold my balloon. Big Paw going to do little job. Uh, I've got to admit it, Ralph. Your idea of tying the land swindle to the comet was an inspiration. <laughs> Thanks, Chief. And very soon, their country will be all my... <laughs> <laughs> Forerunner 
this place should be king right now. Another hundred years, Big Paw. That's all right. Big Paw, wait. <laughs> <laughs>